Have you ever heard of the wise old monk who knew the secret to manifesting abundance? His name was Master Kaito, and his legend stretched far and wide across the land. Nestled atop a serene mountain, shrouded in mist and mystery, Master Kaito's humble abode was a sanctuary for seekers of truth and wisdom. In a quiet village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a young girl named May. May was known for her curiosity and adventurous spirit, always seeking to unravel the mysteries of the world around her. One day, as she wandered through the forest that bordered her village, May stumbled upon a hidden path leading to the summit of a nearby mountain. Intrigued by the unknown, May decided to follow the path, her heart pounding with excitement. As she ascended higher and higher, the air grew cooler and the trees thinned, giving way to breathtaking vistas of valleys below. At last, after hours of hiking, May reached the summit where she discovered a quaint wooden hut nestled among the clouds. Curiosity peaked, May approached the hut and knocked gently on the door. To her surprise, it swung open, revealing a serene interior adorned with tapestries and flickering candles. At the center of the room sat an elderly monk, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. Welcome, young traveler, the monk greeted May with a warm smile. I am Master Kaito. What brings you to my humble abode? May hesitated for a moment, then gathered her courage and spoke. Master Kaito, I seek knowledge and guidance. I wish to understand the secrets of abundance and prosperity. Master Kaito nodded thoughtfully, motioning for May to join him by the hearth. Abundance is a wondrous thing, he began, his voice gentle yet commanding. It flows through the very fabric of existence, waiting to be embraced by those who seek it. May listened intently as Master Kaito shared his wisdom, his words weaving a tapestry of inspiration and hope. But how does one unlock the doors to abundance? May wondered aloud, her eyes wide with wonder. Ah, that is where the magic of sea salt comes into play. Master Kaito replied, his gaze alight with ancient knowledge. Sea salt is not merely a seasoning for food. It is a potent tool for cleansing and attracting positive energy. May's curiosity was piqued. Tell me more, Master Kaito. How can sea salt help us manifest abundance? Master Kaito smiled, a twinkle of mischief in his eyes. Imagine, if you will, a clear mountain stream flowing down the slopes carrying with it the purity and vitality of nature. Sea salt, harvested from the depths of the ocean, holds within it the essence of that pristine energy. Master Kaito continued, his voice resonating with ancient wisdom. By harnessing the power of sea salt, we can cleanse ourselves and our surroundings, clearing the path for abundance to flow freely. May leaned in closer, captivated by Master Kaito's words. But how do we use sea salt to manifest abundance? She asked eagerly. The old monk's eyes sparkled with delight at May's curiosity. There are many ways, young one, he replied. One of the simplest and most effective methods is through the ritual of a sea salt bath. May's eyes widened in fascination. A sea salt bath? she repeated, intrigued. Yes, Master Kaito nodded, his expression serene. By dissolving sea salt in warm water and immersing yourself in its healing embrace, you can wash away negative energy and invite abundance into your life, May nodded eagerly, already envisioning the soothing waters of a sea salt bath. What other ways can we use sea salt? she asked, eager to learn more. The old monk smiled, impressed by May's eagerness to learn. Another powerful method is to create small pouches filled with sea salt and carry them with you wherever you go, he explained. These pouches act as talismans of protection, warding off negativity and attracting positive energy. May's eyes lit up with excitement as she imagined the possibilities. And what about our homes, Master Kaito? she inquired. How can we use sea salt to cleanse and purify our living spaces? 
Master Kaito's smile grew wider at Mei's insightful question. A simple yet potent technique is to place bowls of sea salt in the corners of each room, he revealed. As the salt absorbs negative energy, it creates a harmonious environment conducive to abundance and prosperity, Mei nodded thoughtfully, absorbing every word of Master Kaito's teachings. Thank you, Master Kaito, she said gratefully. Your wisdom has truly opened my eyes to the power of sea salt. The old monk's smile was gentle and knowing. Remember, Mei, he said softly, the key to abundance lies not in seeking it outside ourselves, but in recognizing and embracing the abundance that already exists within. With a newfound sense of purpose and understanding, May bid farewell to Master Kaito and began her descent down the mountain. As she journeyed back to her village, she carried with her the timeless wisdom of the wise old monk and the transformative power of sea salt. And so the legend of Master Kaito and the secret of manifesting abundance spread far and wide, inspiring countless souls to embark on their own journey of self-discovery and empowerment. For in the simple act of harnessing the power of sea salt, they found the key to unlocking a world of infinite possibility and abundance.